o'clock. Many people are wondering tonight how the election is going to impact the stock market. Do investors have a favorite? News Channel 8 and Portland Business Journal reporter Joe Smith continues our team coverage. Joe? Well, uh, Tracy, historically, during an election year, Wall Street prefers the incumbent party to win. But with stocks facing their worst decline in decades, if the polls hold, tr uh, polls hold true, how would a Democratic president change investors' outlook? When and if we do see the official Obama yeah. against the White House. It's, it's the talk of what analysts talk call investotainment, the, the pundits of Bloomberg and you know, CNBC predicting the unpredictable, the, the stock market, and what happens after the election. Whoever wins, McCain or Obama, it will be a tax, housing, uh, tr market transparency. Can the president really make a difference on market performance? I don't think... Um, really a president can stabilize the stock market. Uh, no matter who gets elected, I think it'll go up a little bit. And then after that, it'll continue down a little bit. But no guarantees, no matter who's elected. Really gets down to the cause and effect. And the cause this election, a faltering economy, according to George Hosfeld, principal with Ferguson Wellman Capital Management. The effect going against what Wall Street likes. Well, certainly Wall Street historically has, has definitely decidedly leaned red. But this time around, with the Dow down 30% this year, the polls strongly indicate a blue victory. Historically, the market doesn't like surprises, and clearly the data would suggest that if there is a surprise tomorrow, it would be the Republican winning, it would be McCain winning, and that would be a real test for the market then. Research dating back to 1833 finds stocks perform better in the final two years of a presidential term, maneuvering by the party in power to stay in power. But there's always the exception to the rule. The market tends to go do poorly in the year of an election when the incumbent party loses. And it appears the incumbent party is going to lose, and they're probably going to lose because of for, among other reasons, the economy is, is not on very solid footing right now. A priority and one of the first orders of business for the new president-elect. Hasfield says the real impact of the new president will be a year from now, the policies that are implemented by his administration and the House and Senate. Laurel, back to you. Thank you.